Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and today we're going to take a look at robots. What technologies are available today, and what part they're going to play for us in the future. So stick around, I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying these videos. amazing, the most fantastic creation of man's mind. For Tobor can live where no human can breathe in the airless atmosphere of outer space. Robots have been part of our dreams since the very beginning of technology. Even in the early years of television, people were dreaming of what robots could be in the future. From how they could help us with our daily tasks and make our life easier, to how they could eventually do us all in. One of the main questions a lot of people have is what makes a robot a robot? In short, a robot is a programmable machine capable of carrying out complex series of tasks or actions autonomously. Robots can be guided by external controls or its control can be embedded within the machine's programming itself, designed to execute the task automatically with speed and precision. Well, most of the time anyway. There are many different types of robots as there are tasks to perform. Robots are part of our life already. There's many more to come. As technology advances, we'll see more and more robots in our lives. Just wait. This is only the beginning. In the not-too-distant future, robots will be doing all the things that we don't want to do, freeing up our time for the things we enjoy. There's currently a lot of talk about robots being used in the manufacturing sector, and how they can help address many of the challenges faced today. But there are both pros and cons surrounding the usage of robots in manufacturing. The pros, such as increased productivity, cost, and the scarcity of skilled workers. But one of the biggest negatives about using robots that a lot of people are concerned with is how they could eliminate up to 6% of all jobs in the U.S. by the year 2023. All these workers would require new training, possibly to assemble, guide and program these robots. Both SpaceX and NASA will use multi-purpose robots. The robots will play a large part in the human reach for the stars. Without them, we may never get farther than we already have. The fact that NASA now uses robots on a regular basis proves that all these robots are needed. From the assembly of rockets to the Mars rovers, robots that resemble humans are known as androids. NASA calls them HRS, or Human Robotic Systems. As we venture off this planet, astronauts will need a lot of help from robots, whether that's helping the crew aboard the International Space Station or the future recruits on a mission to Mars. Robots will help us complete tasks beyond our human capabilities. But what type of robots are suited for these jobs? Some of the NASA engineers think we should turn to Star Wars for inspiration. In the Star Wars movies, robots or droids help as autonomous mechanics. They are also capable of fighting or piloting spacecraft. NASA is currently working on robotic spacecraft equipped with all the technologies to repair satellites. They'll be able to grapple the satellite, service them, refuel them, and relocate them if necessary. Other robots will be able to explore places that we cannot get or check them out before we go in to make sure they're safe for human habitation. But what about SpaceX? What kind of robots will SpaceX use? Currently, SpaceX has a very well-known robot, known as the Crew Dragon. The Crew Dragon is fully autonomous and is fully qualified to be considered a robot. It can fly and do all its tasks without any intervention from humans. Even though humans can override these systems, they're well capable of doing it by itself. In fact, Starlink satellites are considered autonomous, which puts them in the robot category. They're able to change trajectory as needed to avoid collisions. But what other robots might SpaceX use in the future? It's very possible 
that a robot may set foot on Mars before humans, just to verify that it's safe for us to go outside. In fact, Boston Dynamics robot dog, named Spot, has been seen running around the SpaceX facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Could this mean that SpaceX has plans for Spot? What could those plans be? I doubt he's there just to guard the facility. Could it be he's going to be one of the crew members on the trip to Mars? One of the more famous robots of recent days that just left recently for Mars is the Perseverance. The Perseverance is about the size of a car and weighs 2,615 pounds Earth weight. This rover was based off the Curiosity rover that landed on Mars in 2012. The difference is this rover has a few little extras that that one did not. This rover will look for signs of life and habitable conditions for humans. Not only that, but it'll have one special extra, a helicopter. This will be one of the first heavier-than-air vehicles that will fly on another planet. If this is successful, it will be adapted for future missions. Being that Mars' atmosphere has 1% the air density of Earth, they're not 100% sure that it'll even take off. It's passed all the current tests here on Earth, but it still has to pass the big one on Mars. As time goes on, there'll be more and more robots for space travel use. Not only that, there'll be more for personal use. Robots will become part of our daily life. It's been predicted by the year 2050, there will be a robot population of over 9 million worldwide. From autonomous vehicles to home robots, teachers, and babysitters, answering services, delivery services, to robot pets, medical, even mechanics, and who knows what else. Let me know what kind of robots you think will be around in the future. What type of robot will you own? Give me your thoughts down in the comments. The thing is, none of us really know what part we're going to play in this in the future. <laughs> It's been one heck of a great week for SpaceX. Bob and Doug got back from the International Space Station successfully. And, guys, we finally did it. SN5 finally flew. This is something we've been waiting for for a long time. I have to admit, that had to be one of the most awesome things I've ever seen. But this is just the beginning. I can't wait to see this thing do a high altitude belly flop test or even finally make it to orbit, but we're on the way. Today, 150 meter hop, tomorrow, Mars. Three, two, one. Well, it's official. My wife thinks I totally lost it. I've probably watched this launch over a hundred times now. I just can't seem to get tired of it. How about you? How about just one more time? Three, two, one.
Now is the time for me to thank all these very important people. This is the mob. These are my patrons. These are some very special people. They're with me every step of the way. Thank you guys for everything you do. And you too can become one of the mob. Become a patron today. Check out the details in the description below.